Hello everyone and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time we are going to learn how to create a beaten apple like this one here uh, though this apple in this area looks kind of okay but this one here is just a little bit not what I expected and it's not completely uh, you know uh, done there can be a little bit more work on this but um, this tutorial is meant for uh, one viewer that asked me to do this and you know sometimes when it's uh, a quick tutorial I can make it and I, I don't have any problem to do this so if you any like I, I mean like if any by the way you have uh, something like this that you need help with uh, let me know so Tina this one is meant for you and I'll show you uh, the first steps from here over here to this one okay and we'll see how it goes uh, it should be simple so what I will do I will create a new scene file new don't save this and <clears throat> what you want to do is create a cube <clears throat> not a sphere nothing uh, it's a matter of cube this time and you want to go over the polygon cube uh, attribute editor and had something like five on the height, two for the subdivision width and two for the subdivision path. Okay? So this is the starting point and we're gonna scale this up so we can work with this because in small scale it's it can be a little bit problem. Now the next thing is to right click choose vertices, grab these vertices, grab these vertices, grab these vertices and those okay don't select this one and you want to squeeze them all at once to something about so okay now maybe outside it's better yeah let's try this that way that way okay so now you wanna come and go over edit mesh offset edge loop tool and click on this one okay note this one let's first grab this vertex here and this vertex here and let's jump for vertex them and now you wanna do this, you wanna come to the offset edge loop and click here to create this kind of thing okay and we will do this for each one of them so like so the offset edge loop is just giving us some more geometry and so we can work it with and right now it looks like that so don't worry that's fine I'm gonna change it to the four view and here what we will do is we'll grab these press 5 to see this and I'm gonna scale this uh, all those in the same area and then those here to a little bit something like so grab these open it up open this and open those a little bit so we will get something that looks somewhat like apple so now when we press 3 in smooth preview mode it looks like this and yeah you can bring it up a little bit that's fine now here you want to grab these faces and push them with the scale tool to about so. So now it looks like a pepper, but it's mainly because, um, you know, in order to make it right from the first time, you need to be a little bit more precise in what you're doing. So, what I will do is I will bring those like so and maybe grab all those vertices at once, just those, and pull them outside and scale them a little bit like so and then I can grab only these okay now pay attention I'm not grabbing this one here I wanna just grab these and this one and push them inside okay just to bring this inside a little bit grab those and pull them so it will get rounded here it's better to have a look on your uh, non-smooth preview mode because you can make an overlapping uh, 
with your faces and it just won't look good so now I will round up those because they are obviously look bad so reshape it it's very very important in this st stage of the apple and bring these four okay I'm not dealing with those vertices here I don't want to touch them. only those and those try to smooth this so it will be rounded here and after that you can basically grab them all and move them outside maybe scale them a little bit to the like, like so maybe those can be brought a little bit to maintain the flow here uh, okay so if I press 3 to look somewhat like this uh, it still looks like uh, you know pepper for, <laughs> to me but that's fine maybe this sharp corner is a little bit too much okay so now we can grab this uh, face here scale it a little bit down and bring it inside some more if you think it's not good I will bring this up open it like so in non-smooth preview mode and extrude it okay extrude it once sorry extrude it once inside and just bring those faces like so so to look like this and press F8 so now for the uh, kind of a uh, you know more complicated uh, stuff here uh, we want to create the beaten the bits on the apple and in order to do this it's you need to pick area like this okay like three of those and here also okay something like that and you want to extrude it once and the first click on this cube or any of those cube once and release and then grab this one and create a frame like I always do and then click extrude again and push this inside now when you push it inside it starts to get closer you see the faces are just overlapping so you, in this point you want to be very very uh, careful with this and press F8 to bring it back to object mode right click choose vertices and yeah it's the best way to deal with them as vertices so you have a little bit work here at the first because the first shape is uh, you, you have the more work to do with, with it it's not much but it still deserves some attention so careful attention so I'll grab those those and bring them inside and there so I'm basically pointing the face to look more like uh, you know to so it they won't be pointing at me uh, more of like inside okay so if I would like to extrude it now uh, once more so they will uh, al already have the direction that they need to go okay extruding faces is depending on the position they, they look as you saw earlier when I was extruding it I could easily uh, just I'm missing some vertex here oh okay it's here <laughs> just can't see it so again I'm just pushing those not this one because I want to make it like so I don't want to push this out a little bit because it's too much and sorry my neighbors are shouting in the morning 
Okay, so that's fine. And I will add one edge loop here before I will add the smooth and all that because I want to put some more work on the vertices and play with them, move them. So these I can just simply take it over there and just give some more space for those and push them also inside and these like so I'll press 3 to see to look at this now you can see how it looks and if you really want to make it look a little bit more interesting so you better start and do some maneuvers with the vertices like so you know, just to shape this area here and shape it also over here so it won't look like one bit from the apple okay also try to maintain the same uh, size of faces in this shape don't do something like this okay you can do it but it's unnecessary okay so maybe this one we can bring this out again very careful when you modify faces or vertices you see it's now it's like a spike and we don't really want to do this that way okay now you can do this also here okay or maybe get some more bunch of faces but uh, I grab only 3, 6, 12 faces at first so um, it's kind of a safe okay safer safer to do this that way now I can go and smooth this but first of all yes let's move this mesh smooth oh sorry I smoothed only one face let's bring it back to object mode mesh smooth so it's already have now more geometry to work with but we will do this one more time smooth and at this point um, the best thing I think is if you know how to work with um, the sculpt tool so the sculpt tool is basically on the polygon tool here this is the icon okay you click on it once it's open up and you get a brush now to control the size of the brush you need to press hold and pr press and hold the B key and you will see this you see it becomes like two arrows and dot in between click on the middle mouse key and hold it and both at the same time the B and the uh, and just drag it so you see the brush size as scaling up or down so you need something like this a uh, very small brush the pressure is very high so at the opacity you want to change it to 0 050 like this okay so 0 0.0050 and start and scalp this a little bit more of like you want this to look okay now Take in mind that my hopper right now is in this um, scale, okay? So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six units by six units, okay? And the pressure and all this stuff of the brush is very depending on uh, sometimes on most of how many vertices you have to work with and the scale of the shape. So these settings here, the opacity is, you can see it it's pretty nice it works good for me uh, I like how it uh, acts but sometimes it can be very very hard to work with it and it won't do exactly what you want so just be aware that you need sometimes to have more vertices to work with unless you have more vertices the shape will look very 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 strange and if you think you want to add more details to it just smooth it a little bit more and reshape this I'm toggling between those two because those are the those that controlling it if it will the pressure will be uh, inside or outside now you can also grab this which is taking the pressure outside and they're pulling the shape basically but you hold down the control and you can simply come and sculpt it in while you're holding the control. Okay?
So just work on the, this area like that. Okay, push it when you think it needs to push inside and press 3 to see how it looks. We are already smoothed this, by, but you can still apply the smooth preview mode in order to smooth it a little bit more. So, this is pretty much it for this. Uh, one more thing is after we've done this, we have uh, this face in the middle that has poked. So, you can come and edit mesh, choose the chamfer vertex here. Right click, choose face, grab this face, and click one extrude. Okay, it's better to do this on uh, non smooth preview. Pull it just a little bit outside, like so. Click extrude again and start pulling it that way. And click once more and scale it so it will get a little bit bigger here. Again, extrude it, scale it. Like so, extrude it once more and scale it. Okay, so I think that that's pretty much it. Uh, <clears throat> can make it bigger, a little, maybe just a little bit more bigger but at the end point you want to have uh, supporting edge loops in order to maintain the sharpness and we will do this one here also I will add more here because I want this to look a little bit more uh, you know like kind of a branch and not just a smoothed thing here so I will add those extra edge loops here and press 3 okay so this is it this is how to create this apple uh, try to work more a little bit it still looks a little bit more like a pepper we call it in Hebrew gamba but okay so that's it have fun have a good day hope it helps and see you